Hey, what's going on there, everyone? Earthmaster here, checking in on this Wednesday evening, January 22nd, 2020, at about 8.15 p.m. West Coast time here in California. Taking a look at the Earthquake 3D globe and also a live shot of Volcano Ta'al there in the Philippines. Also a webby quarter of the earthquake activity that's taken place, still continuing in the uh, Philippines Island region, right next to the uh, volcano itself, actually. Not a whole lot of steam, not a whole lot of smoke, no visible signs of eruption coming at the surface at the moment. But with the uh, continued earthquake activity and the uh, continued ground deformation in that region, uh, it's obvious that magma is still continuing uh, to head towards the surface there in a potential, uh, with a potential blockage, this thing could uh, make a explosive eruption there in that area it would be pretty devastating but the possibility continues to run high even though there's no visible signs at the surface but uh, all the equipment and uh, information being put out by the, uh, the folks over there at the Philippine Seismic Network all agree that uh, it could be hours or it could still be days uh, but an explosive eruption is very imminent in that area uh, looking at the seismic data here uh, globally, not a whole lot of earthquake activity happening. Uh, looks like China Lake having a little bit of earthquake activity. That's near the Ridgecrest area in Southern California. That's a station down here. But I first want to go into the uh, activity or the latest. Ooh, that's not going to work. Let me see if I can do that here. I do want to go into the latest information statement put out by the Philippines uh, Seismic Network. Let's see if I can get that thing to pop up correctly. Hold on one second here. There we go. Okay. It never fails. It's it's uh it's live recordings. That's what I like. You guys can see my faults and all. Anyway, um transform. Let's go over here to fit the screen so it looks a little bit better. And also that's not really that much better, but uh We'll see if we can work with that. It's kind of black. Uh, I don't know if you guys can read that or not, but I will be reading a little bit of it. Um, hopefully we can see all this here. Uh, just a little bit of information here from this website. It's the Philippine Institute of Volcan Volcanology. Vacan Vulcan Volcanology, is that right? Volcanology. That sounds kind of weird. Okay. And seismology. Uh, it's late. I've had a fun day, let me tell you. My nephew can really wear me out. Uh, activity in the main crater in the past 24 hours. Now we're speaking about Ta'al Volcano. It's the latest updated information from January 23rd, 2020 at 8 a.m. That's going to be their time, uh, which is just the latest information. Um, uh, in the past 24 hours has been characterized by weak to moderate emissions of white steam laden steam laden plumes 50 to 500 meters high from the main crater that drifted southwest uh, sulfur dioxide emissions was measured at an average of 141 uh, tons a day is that right okay the philippine seismic network psn plotted a total of 700 31 volcanic earthquakes since uh, January 12th. 176 of these registered at a magnitude 1.2 to 4.1 and were felt uh, at a certain intensity. Uh, since 5 a.m. on January 22nd, 2020, uh, there were six volcanic earthquakes plotted that registered at magnitudes uh, 1.5 to 4. 3.4 with no felt event. Uh, anyway, uh, for the past 24 hours, the Tau Volcanic Network, which can record small earthquakes undetectable by the PSN network, recorded 467 volcanic earthquakes, including eight low frequency earthquakes. Now, those are uh, very uh, identifiable as magma movement underground when you get that low frequency earthquakes. Um, such intensity activity likely signif signifies continuous mag uh, magma intrusion beneath the Ta'al 
volcano, which may lead to further eruptive activity. So that's what I'm talking about there, folks. We still got a lot of earthquake activity, right? A lot of low frequency events, well, at least eight anyway, within the last 24 hours. Uh, this activity isn't going down to the surface. It's not subsiding. It's continuing to build up and um, looking likely that it's blocked with the very minor, weak to moderate emissions of white steam uh, tells me that it's blocked down there and it's going to be finding its way out pretty soon. Uh, alert level 4 still remains in effect over Taal Volcano. This means that hazardous explosive eruption is possible within hours to days. Um, so yeah, if a major eruption occurs during the day and the eruption column exceeds 7 kilometers ash, we will also be... Okay, I just talk about a little bit about some uh, local information there. But... Uh, it's a big deal, folks, if you really think about it. Now, I don't think we're going to see any type of super volcanic eruption, right? There's not enough uh, uh, not enough magma down there to produce a super volcano. But it could be a mini super super eruption. If it gets blocked down there and the, and the uh, um, you know, magma is trapped like it is and it just continues to be fed magma from down below, we're looking at... Uh, a whole different landscape out there for that area of uh, Taal Lake and the surrounding area. So best be on guard. I did want to bring up the, well, this is from, uh, this is over the last 24 hours or so. Earthquake activity kind of spikes, right? You can see some larger ones, small ones, lots of little, little tiny ones. Um, and that's, that's very, very good. Uh, indication there that uh, this thing ain't going away there's no subsidence of any type of uh, of earthquakes there and that's uh, that's very worrisome let me tell you so uh, on the live stream there there is a data that says or there's a seismograph above the scrolling ones they have kind of like a color coded um, scope to it above it that's from the Tal to al volcano uh seismic network over there so there is definitely earthquake activity and that's kind of like near time or at least close to real time activity um in the earthquake department there so i can't find that specific data station on my end on my network that i normally use to you know like far as southern california Fiji anywhere in the globe but I just cannot find the uh, correct station to load up I can't find it in my uh, in my list of data stations there I've looked all over so uh, in the global earthquake explorer program that is if anyone else uses that program and they have access to it let me know what I'm doing wrong because I cannot find it but either way there is a data station right there on the screen um, uh, separate from what I use, showing the earthquake activity at Volcano Taal in the Philippines there. So um, anyway, folks, uh, real quick, we're going to run around the globe and check out the latest data here in uh, Southern California. We can zoom in here and you can see a little bit of earthquake activity out here on the western part of the uh, San Andreas Fault System there. So that's going to be the Pacific Plate side. The North American plate is going to be on the right side of that dark red line there. Let me zoom in just a tad bit more so it looks a little bit clearer here. A little bit better view. Yeah, so you got the San Andreas Fault System that runs up here um, through Southern California. With the, uh, of course, once again, North American plate on the right, Pacific plate on the left. And there's definitely a lot of earthquake, act well, a little bit of earthquake activity, I should say. Um, on the Pacific side, up here near uh, Simi Valley, we had that one there, the latest, kind of larger one, I guess, for that area, north of Los Angeles, a 3.6 magnitude quake. And also um, going down through here, we had a couple twos, and also down, now, down near the Salton Sea region, um, and also south of the border. So a little bit of activity occurring, 
not so much on the eastern part over here of the San Andreas Fault. It looks relatively quiet, if you catch my drift there. Going up through Northern California, right along uh, the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault sec section, <laughs> is the, I cannot talk tonight, 2.9 near Soledad. And um, let's see what else we got up here. Not a whole lot of activity, folks. Relatively quiet out here on the West Coast. Most of the activity, well, globally looking. Let's check that out real quick again. On the Earthquake 3D globe, that's going to be right here. Latest Earthquake 4.4 out here east of the Mediterranean Sea region. I know we've been seeing a sequence of earthquakes out there near uh, the Met Mediterranean Sea. And uh, 5.6 and 4.1 being the latest today in that region. But uh, earthquake activity appears right now to be just uh, drifting towards the east a little bit. Uh, so we'll have to keep an eye on that region uh, as it looks pretty active. Um, what else we got here? Some oddball earthquakes out here south of uh, South America. They did have that deep earthquake earlier. That one was really super deep. What was it, 538 kilometers right there, that 4.8 in South America. That thing kind of stirred up some surface quakes out here in the Pacific and also here south of the South American continent here down kind of near Antarctica of all places. So pretty inter interesting to look at. Um, other than that, earthquake activity globally, where we normally see it, once again out here in the Pacific Ring of Fire, is relatively quiet, except for this 5.1, um, well south of Japan, out there on the uh, that ridge out there of the Pacific Ring of Fire. So we will keep an eye on things, folks. Um, if anything does happen to happen to Volcano Tau. Then I will do an update video on that and see if I can't get the latest live view of that volcano. I don't think that, I'm not for sure how far that cam is away from the uh, volcano, but uh, if it's if it's ex explosive as I think this thing might happen or might become, uh, I don't know if that camera is going to be there. But anyway, the camera switches every once in a while to some different areas, I think. Uh, but it will show Volcano Tau on the, uh, it should show a text message, or not text message, but a, uh, some type of uh, status there on the screen. Uh, anyway, folks, I uh, hope everyone out there has a great night. Please stay safe out there, and uh, we'll see what happens with the, with the volcano. I don't know if there's anything else I was going to cover out here or not. I think that was it. Uh I had a beautiful day out here in California. If you see my live stream a little bit earlier, I was out in the back with uh, my nephew. We're just playing in the sun, 60 degrees. I was in uh, my, my shorts and, and a, a shirt here in January, so it was pretty nice. But i uh, got some more rain coming in tomorrow, I believe. But it's sure nice to get sun, a little bit of sunshine once in a while. All right, folks, take care. We'll be out here on the live stream. Peace out.